Hey guys, my name is Simpsy and welcome to the first episode of my FIFA 16 Real Madrid career mode. The early access has been released and we officially have some FIFA 16 gameplay and I'm going to start things off by playing as Real Madrid. But guys, firstly, I would like to make a deal with you. If this video can hit 1,000 likes, yes, 1,000 likes within 24 hours, I will do a double upload here today. If you want more content, all you have to do is leave a like. But I'm so excited for the Real Madrid career mode. I've done it for the past two years. This is obviously the third year in a row. Once I finish this video, I'm obviously going to start up my Manchester United career as well, so stay tuned for that. Upload schedules for these, I'm going to be uploading an episode every single day, but if you want to double upload today, all you have to do is like. So guys, we're going to start things off with the pre-season. I've made the decision to go into the Asian Elite. We're going to be tested against Bayern Munich, uh, Roma, Borussia Dortmund, obviously the harder one, and it's got a lot more money, which I'm more than happy to do. Now, guys, let me know in the comment section down below your transfer targets. Now, I did do a video before, so I've got a general consensus of what you guys want, but obviously, I haven't skipped too far ahead in the career mode, so you guys, I want your feedback, but instantly, we're going to be going for bringing in some new players. We also have a match in today's episode against Internationale, against Inter Milan. We have 172 million, and I've got the 60% bonus, which is absolutely fantastic, obviously, because I've played career mode in the past. But um, that's a hell of a lot of money, so there are obviously two glaring holes where I want to strengthen, but uh, the board wants me to win the La Liga. They also want me to win the Champions League and win the Domestic Cup. My main objectives are that, and I'm hoping I can go through this season. But we're going to be going through the players now. I'm going to be giving you my 10 cents of where they're going to be playing. So obviously... I want to bring in a new goalkeeper, I want to bring in a new striker, and quite possibly another defender. Nacho Fernandez, phenomenal, I'm going to be putting him out on loan, he's going to be absolutely fantastic in the future. Navas and Casilla, um, I'm going to be keeping, uh, maybe learning out one of them, because I am looking to bring in a new goalkeeper as well. Varane as well is going to be my main man up front, but I'm... I'm umming and ahhing, I will show you the squad, I'm thinking a 4-3, uh, a 4-2-3-1, uh, very much... Uh, like I mentioned, but below we are going to be transfer listing Delin, da, uh, Danilino, we're going to be keeping as well. But I'm going to be going through here, learning off the young players. Isco is going to be very important uh, to the club, unless I get a sensational offer from anyone. Uh, Martin Odegaard, 16 years of age. Fantastic. Uh, he's going to be phenomenal, but I will loan him out. Maybe we can glitch his potential. He can shoot up a bit. Casemiro, I'm going to be going out on loan. Obviously, we can always uh, call him back as well. Now, Kovacic recently signed for an international. He will be playing against his former club in today's episode. Um, I'm not going to loan him out. I think I'm going to be heavily rotating him with Modric this season. Modric is 30 years of age, so his legs will be tiring. Uh, Dennis, the Russian. Um... I don't know. Enzo Fernandez. Now, if you're not too sure who this bloke is, this is Zidane's son. So, obviously, I want to be learning him out and keeping him at the club as long as possible. Obviously, he is born in... He's got his mother's last name. He was now uh, born in France. But he hasn't actually made a, a choice. Ronaldo Benzema going to be keeping. But, guys, we're going to get into some transfers and actually start off doing some transfer negotiations. So, I want to bring in a new striker, and I've made the decision to hopefully try and sign Sergio Aguero. Benzema is a fantastic player up front, but obviously, we are Real Madrid. We have the funds. I think bringing Sergio Aguero as the main striker uh, would be absolutely fantastic. Having him up front just behind. Just behind him, James Rodriguez and also Gareth Bale and Ronaldo. Benzema will be a huge part of my plans. I will be bringing him off the bench more than often, heavily rotating. Also, I would like a new goalkeeper as well. Now, obviously, in real life, this deal fell through. David De Gea to Real Madrid, but hopefully I can make it work in this window. We do have a, sig a, a sensational amount of money, and we're going to be having to put in some bids. But 86 overall, 24 years of age, 46 million. So we're going to have to put in a hefty bid if United want to even accept that. Uh, I'm umming and ahhing whether or not to bring in a new left back, depending if we, depending how much money we have after Sergio Aguero and David De Gea. Marcelo is a little bit old. We've got Caliver, um, uh, Fobe, what's his name? Fabio Cohen Thrao uh, on loan at Monaco. But I think David Alaba is arguably one of the best left backs in the world. He obviously can play in the midfield. He's got some fantastic free kicks on him. And we've actually come back here. Manchester City have come back to us and have accepted the deal. So only we have to agree to personal terms. So we could quite possibly see 
Um, Sergio Aguero in a Real Madrid shirt. Bayern Munich have come back and said they want 73 million. I don't think he's worth that. I will put a counter offer for 64 million, but this is still a hell of a lot of money. Now, guys, we're going to be going into some uh, training drills. Now, obviously, because of the early access, I only have 10 hours to record gameplay for before the full release. So I won't be playing uh, the skills. I'm just going to be simming. And I might actually end up simming most of the friendlies, obviously in other career modes, uh, once the full game has been released. But we've only got 10 hours, and I want to do two career modes. So I haven't got enough time. I want to get into the crux of the season. I want to get into some matches. I've just got to make a decision. So I won't be going into the skill games, but any career mode after... Um, after it's been released, so probably the third career mode I start. I'm obviously uploading this Real Madrid career mode every single day along with the Manchester United. I probably will do a lower league later on. But you guys know the drill with my... Uh, get it? We're doing a drill thing. Uh, you guys know what I usually do on my channel. I go through basically all the league, all the uh, teams I did in abundance uh, last year. But we're going to be putting Martin Odegaard in, also Gareth Bale, and then we're just going to simulate and see how they do. I'm not going to spend time playing the skills. I'd much rather play into matches. So I do apologize about that. But unlike last year, for some reason, the year, and the year before that, the early access, which I've done for the past two years, you had it for two days in... Um, it was FIFA 14, and then in FIFA 15 you had it for three days, and now in FIFA 16 you only have it for 10 hours, which is unlucky, but uh, hey, so I really just want to get stuck in. We also have a match, but guys, if you haven't subscribed already as well to keep up to date with this series and any other videos on my channel, highly recommend you do. We're also putting uh, Kovacic as well. I want to be obviously putting his skills up in his interceptions, slide, tackles, and obviously marking. So I'm going to be going for a two-on-two -two defense. Uh, obviously, it's easier for them, so hopefully we'll see how he goes. So we've got Odegaard, Bale, H uh, Hesse Rodriguez is going to be absolutely fantastic up front. But now I want to put in one of my fullbacks. Rafael Varane is going to be a quality player for Real Madrid. So I think I'm going to be playing a 4-2-3-1. Four, a, a four, We're going to be having... I actually get back to that, but I want to quickly show you the training. Martin Odegaard got a B, uh, Kovacic got a D, Gareth Bale got a C, Hesse Rodriguez got a C, obviously Kovacic got a D, and Varane got a C. But Manchester United have accepted the 64 million bid for David De Gea, so we only have to agree to personal terms. Unfortunately, the deals weren't signed, so you will not be seeing Sergio Aguero or David De Gea, we're still negotiating with David Alaba. Now, some of these players uh, can't uh, can't play and aren't el eligible for the match, so you won't be seeing Danilo, you won't be seeing uh, Marcelo and James Rodriguez. So I'm going to have to rotate the squad, but this is what I'm going to be going for for the season before I've signed these new players. A 4-2-3-1, we're going to be having uh, Benzema up front. Just behind him will be Hesse Rodriguez. Sorry, James Rodriguez. Then we'll have Ronaldo on the left, Bale on the right. We're going to be having Cruz and Modric in the centre defensive mid park. We'll have Marcelo at left back, Danilinho at right back, Ramos and Varane, the camp, and obviously Casilla in goal. Obviously, the left back, the uh, the goalkeeper, and the striker position will change if we sign those players. But you will just have to see. Kovacic will be facing his former side in today's episode as well. But um, there were a couple of players. But I was umming and what kit to go with. I didn't know which one would clash. But I do manage to end up going with the white Real Madrid kit. We are, um, well, we are the home field advantage. But we we don't have the home field advantage. We're both uh, at a neutral ground. But obviously, because we're to the left of the scene, I went home. But uh, I really can't wait to get into FIFA 16. Got a lot of exciting plans for it. And, um, yeah, if you guys want to have a double upload here today, all you have to do is like the video. I believe in you guys. I reckon you could do it. You guys hit 2,000, over 2,000 likes on my Super League career mode playing as Manchester United as well. So let me know in the comments. Also, any constructive criticism uh, to the video. How am I going to better myself as a YouTuber if I don't take on constructive feedback? Let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, transfers. Depending on how much money we have left, I will be investing in youth. And I'll be also investing in a youth academy. But here we go, guys. We're at kickoff. So Inter Milan on, on the ball finds Palacio. And Inter Milan straight off fire one at Casilla. Tested from the get-go. 
Gareth Bale on the ball, breaking away from Santon, is in some space with the Ronaldo chop, but couldn't get clear of Jesus and, uh, well, got tackled. Benzema with the interception, tries to lob it over the top to Isco and couldn't get the shot off. He hits the post, Ronaldo goes wide and Benzema uh, on the back post there, couldn't put in the back of the net. But Inter Milan doing some nice tiki tack of football. Unfortunately, falls to Halvanovic. Benzema creates some space for Ronaldo, and Ronaldo buries it into the back of the net to make it 1 0 just before the 40th minute. And it was good to score my first goal on FIFA 16, of course, to get us off and running. I did go and celebrate with the bench with Pepe. I was actually aiming for the camera, but obviously a nice world. Uh, team goal, but Inter Milan were obviously trying to put it around there. A nice, it was a really nice hit ball. Unfortunately, went to the claim of Benzema, and you can't be hitting it around the back when Ronaldo is going to punish you uh, just like that. But Isco on the ball. Look how much space Ronaldo has got, and he's trying to create some more. He goes for the long shot, and obviously that was my first mistake. Long shots are not a thing on FIFA 16. You're definitely going to have to finesse if you want to go for a goal from that far out. But Ronaldo creating some space with Hesse Rodriguez with the scoop turn back to Ronaldo. It uh, manages to get quite clear by the Inter Milan defense. We're only 1-0 up. Hopefully I can score a second. Hesse Rodriguez fresh off the bench for Benzema. He was getting a little bit tired. I did put Ronaldo as striker. Whips it into Ronaldo to make it 2-0 just before the 64th minute. Hesse Rodriguez on that left-hand side is going to be absolutely fantastic. I can definitely, definitely see him as a huge part to the campaign this season. Hopefully we can win the Liga. Hopefully we can win the Champions League and the, and the Domestic Cup. But it's most definitely going to be a, a challenge, uh, to say the least. But Ronaldo's off to a fantastic flying start with two goals. Now, I wanted to do a quick bench substitution here, obviously, because we are in a friendly, we do have unlimited, but I will be bringing on uh, Kovacic to face his former side, Martin Odegaard, Casemiro as well, and I will be bringing on Navas for Casilla, just to rotate the squad, see how everyone does, get a, well, obviously it's the 67th minute, we won't get an overall judge of their ability, but it's good to get everyone on the pitch to make them happy. But with the throw-in, we're trying to get it out of the back here, but Vidic, a superb tackle, first time cross, puts Jovetic, the former Man City man, and at Florentina, but uh, we were in a really dangerous position, They're obviously on loan to Inter Milan, but what a superb tackle from Vidic. Now Navas sees Ronaldo, absolutely thumps it, now this is absolutely hilarious guys, Ronaldo gets absolutely taken out and close hanged. Only the gods know how that wasn't a fucking injury. So we'll just go with a quick action replay. How Vanovic charging out. Ronaldo snaps his necks. And then his legs go real wonky at the last bit as well. And that is just... I don't even know. Is that the impact engine? But that was just absolutely retarded. Odegaard on the ball. Manages to find Ronaldo. Kovacic gets his shot off. But it's saved. And he couldn't score against his former club. But with the finesse, we nearly get one off. But it's cleared off the line. And we only managed to win 2-0. But a really positive match. We start off with a win. Ronaldo claims to nine shots on target. Five shots. Cristiano Ronaldo picks up the man of the match. And we are coming to the end of the episode here, guys. So thank you very much for watching. If you watched all the way through, I really do appreciate it. Stay tuned for more FIFA 16 content on my channel. If you would like to get a double upload today, all you have to do is like the video. And if it gets 1,000 likes, yes, 1,000 likes within 24 hours, I will do a double upload. But we have our first transfer. Casemiro is going on a one-year loan to Watford, I guess the I don't know the Watford board saw his decent performance against Inter Milan, and he's off his way. But guys, I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you watched all the way through, and remember to have a fantastic rest of your day after you watch the video. My name is Ben Simsy. Stay tuned for the Manchester United career mode.